Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. This is part two of my mini series on solar install. As you can see, I have the panels back here on the hill and they have been waiting over a year to have the wiring hooked up. So I have bought uh, 50 foot of red and 50 foot of black solar wire. This is uh, just the thread or the stranded wire and it's got uh, the MC4 connectors on both sides. I'll be taking one side off of each wire uh, then I'm also going to be burying this into some half inch conduit uh, down to the house. So that is the content of this video, bringing the wire from the panels into the house. To make sure that I have enough wire up here at the top so that it's not going to be uh, pulled too far through, I've just looped it a couple times here at the panels. Now I'm not going to plug these up yet until it is time to get uh, electronics going because, uh, you know, 8 amps, 135 volts. Don't want to be messing around with that. Okay. Dad, me and they don't want to take a bath now. I'm not sure you need a bath at 9 o'clock in the morning, though. Cool. I'm done jumping. You're done jumping in the mud? Uh-huh. Well, we're probably still going to be playing in the mud all day. Why? And all that got muddy was your feet. I just got all of the wire stretched out. I just looped it around here just to hold it in place for now. And then both red and black come down here. And we've got plenty of extra to go into the house and over to where the electronics will be. So now I'm going to be putting this into a half inch conduit, hopefully. Uh, I think this right here will fit just fine in that conduit. I've also got this uh, little 45 degree here. So I'll have a pipe that comes down from here with the wires in it. And that will come right here and make a, a 45 down. And then everything will be in conduit down to, uh, see where that white pipe is over there? It'll be just shy of that over here. And then it'll go inside that way. But, And then I'm gonna make a cut here on this piece of pipe that will come down into that 45. And on the top of the pipe, when the wires are through, I'm just going to put some silicone in there and keep that waterproofed. So let's do that. I think before I put this wire into conduit, I'm going to go ahead and just dig a small trench all the way from the panels to the house. Now I know this should be somewhere around 18 to 24 inches deep. I'm going to go maybe six just to get this underneath the, uh, the ground here. Digging through this red clay was a real pain, but I have a trench from the post all the way down to the house. So let's go ahead and cut off the MC4 connectors at the bottom that I don't need. And then we will go ahead and pull the wire through the conduit. Just for the fun of it, I was disconnecting these MC4 connectors and the wire is actually crimped in here. I think that's gonna be super handy to have um, going into this conduit. So. I think I may just leave that on there and not uh, crimp this or not to cut this until we get under the house. So let's just get these reattached and we'll just use that wire as is. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these two together with some black tape. Uh, now do remember that the uh, wires are not connected yet. The whole uh, eight amps at 135 volts should definitely not be coursing through your body. Uh, so anyway, keep those together like that, and then let's go ahead and start putting our conduit pieces on here. I need to have a piece of conduit that's going to go from the ground down here up this post. So I'm just going to do one that uh, is approximately four foot tall here, and it's just going to stick up enough that I can put some silicone in there, and it'll keep this waterproof here under the panels. If you want to use a shop vac to pull a uh, string through and then pull the wire through the entire piece of conduit, feel free. I'm just going to be putting this section by section here. So I'm running this wire through this first piece of pipe. There we go. I'm just going to push this all the way up to the top. And then next I have that 45 degree piece that will go down here 
and that will be the next piece in line. So I'm also going to be pushing that through up to the top. It's going to take a while, but only have to do it once. I have my first two pieces of conduit pulled up here, and now I'm going to be attaching this uh, angled piece by just putting a little bit of PVC cement on the outside of the, uh, the straight pipe. Should be more than sufficient to keep water out of here. There we go. And now I'm also going to be using some plumber's tape here on this piece of pipe coming up so that I can keep it from moving about. So I'm just going to take some of this plumber's tape and break some off here. And just use a couple of screws to get this held into place. I've made it to the house with the wiring and I'm going to be using this LB box to make the 90 into the house. Uh, so far things are going pretty smoothly. So I'm just going to use this box. Yeah. I went under the house and measured where this box should be attached to so that it's not on either a seam or a cross piece of a block underneath. And I should be able to get right here and be exactly where this box needs to go. So what I'm going to do is kind of get this into position here, right about there, and just kind of say I need to come back off of this enough for that half inch piece to fit through. Okay, there we go. So that's good. Got through one piece of the block. And now I'm just going to go around a couple of times here. And then I'm going to be using a much bigger bit to pop that hole through. Got four holes drilled with that small bit. Now I'm going to step up to this big one here and get all of these drilled out. I now have the hole drilled for that to go through. Need to go under the house and try to match up that hole for the wires to come through. So I'm gonna use uh, this pipe down here as my guide with a tape measure and level and all that and just see if I can find that spot to pull those straight through. Not sure how well this translates here in the dark, but I'm gonna use this tape measure to go from the center of that pipe over to 33, which is gonna be right here. And now I need to go from the center of that pipe down a nine, which is right here where this little dip is in the, the block. So let's just use that as our guide and see what we get down here. I'm hoping I can just use the first drill bit as a pilot and then the other drill bit will find us here. I can see some light coming through that hole. So maybe we are good to go here. Looks like we're down a little bit, um, but maybe I can fish it out of there. I found some scrap wire and uh, I just fold it in half here. I think I'm gonna stick it up into that hole and hopefully what I can do is pull each wire down individually. Here's that wire that's poking through, looks pretty good. Well, let's give it a try with both of these um, connected together here. And we'll just see if we can push it on through. It may be rigid enough that I can just 
push it through with that wire as a guide. Let's give that a try first and see if that happens. Nope. All right, let's go into the house and see if we can't pull that through. Kind of afraid it's gonna to be too thick to fit through here together. Oh yeah, there's your problem. So let's just do one at a time here. And I think that might be a bit better. So see if I can't poke this wire back in there. It took a bit of work, but I now have the wire there into the house. It came up short. Uh, it's about, uh, oh, I'm gonna say eight foot short or so from getting to where it needs to go to the electronics panel. Um, but I just have to put in a junction box and run some uh, regular tin uh, two wire over to the breaker. Okay, so I need to go back here and fill in all of this dirt and then put silicone in the top up there and then put some around the uh, BL box there or the LB box there and uh, we will be done with the wire run. Um, so yeah, let's climb this hill one more time. So I left enough wire up here in the top that I can connect these two. Hopefully, I better have, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of there to connect those, so we should be good on that. And that will be what we have up here at the top. I will probably have a shutoff box inside the house, um, or at least have that breaker, which will let us throw the power uh, from that. But. Okay, let's go ahead and put silicone in these pieces and then uh, bury the pipe. I pulled the silicone out and it started to rain, so let me end this up pretty quick, but I've got everything uh, waterproofed around that box. And then let's jump up here on the hill. I've got this pretty well padded back down where the pipe was run. And let's see, this pipe here, is locked down with these pieces of plumber's tape and some screws and then we've got the silicone up here as well so very nice and I'll just be running the wire from the uh, panels connecting it here whenever it's ready okay uh, that's all for this video in the next video we will be heading inside and doing some electrical work which should be pretty fun now I have a micro hydro system already hooked up and we're gonna be using the same batteries as I have in that system. So anyway, it's starting to rain. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.